take this off of my cooling pad here and I'm just going to turn it upside down and as you can see there is a screw there a screw up here and that's it so just gonna take and unloosen this and it, also another good idea make sure that your computer is turned off and unplugged from the power source and I always like to just take the battery out too this way you don't <clears throat> run the risk of getting shocked or anything crazy like that on oh, another tool that you might that you'll want to um, have is a miniature flathead screwdriver um, just to just to help you know the process to kind of pop this panel out because sometimes they can be a little stubborn and don't be afraid of breaking anything because trust me you won't break it just pop it off just like that and there you have the memory bay and all you have to do is just simply lift these little you know, pop them that way. Hold on. Let me see if I can possibly do this. Alright. And as you can see, it lifts right up. And you just pop it out. Now, do not mess with any of the other stuff that you see under here. Because we're just doing memory. Alright. So, I am going to show you now. Um what gameplay would be like just running off of the factory installed amount of memory and I will come back and show you how to put the memory back in Copy that. Yo, does anyone else really not get what the fuck we're doing here? Quit being a fucking hippie, Montez. Just saying, bro. If this is about the PLR, we should be in Iran, not Iraq. They're crossing borders, dog. PLR is the right people, all right? They don't make them any writer. Misfit 1-3, this is Misfit Actual. We have a situation developing here. Get your team dismounted and into the staging area ASAP. This is 1-3. Copy out. What the fuck are we stopping here for? Our objective's 20 clicks north of here. I don't know, Montez. Yeah, let's get out on the road. Okay, let's go. Move.
Gentlemen, welcome. As you know, we're dealing with a PLR. Word. Yeah, to all the and the hundred dollar billers. Yeah, for real, so we ain't got no feelings. Feelings. Check it out now. Welcome to 2K Sports, and we've got basketball. I'm Damon Bruce. Friday Hoops Fest coming up next. It'll be Blake Griffin and the Los Angeles Clippers facing off against Dwight Howard and the Los Angeles Lakers. And that's it for us in the studio. To call all the action, let's go out to Kevin Harlan and the rest of the 2K Sports crew. I'll see you again at halftime. My rain is as far as your eyes can see. Welcome everyone to the sold out Staples Center in downtown Los Angeles, California. It's the home of the Lakers, where we're broadcasting live today for 2K Sports. This is 2K Sports bringing you the NBA. I'm Kevin Harlan, calling the action with my broadcast partners, Steve Kerr and Clark Kellogg. State Farm brings you tonight's starting players. Here are the five for the Clippers. Ron Butler, Blake Griffin, and DeAndre Jordan, their front line. It's Chris Paul and Chauncey Billups at the one and the two. And for the Lakers, Kobe, Meta, and Paul Gasol are the guys who make up the two, three, and four slots. Nash out there with Howard. You know, one of the things the Clippers did really well last year, guys, was they, they competed against the Western Conference at a pretty high level. And that's not easy. I mean, the West is definitely the stronger of the two conferences. So for the Clippers to fare well against that group of teams was pretty impressive. Tip-off goes to the Clippers. Here is Paul. Paul gets a screen from Griffin. Paul kicks to Griffin. Outside, Billups. Jordan with a screen on Kobe. Billups, no good. 
Going back to the Clippers, as Steve was just talking. All right. Now that you've seen what gameplay on a four gigabyte configuration is like, I'm going to show you how to install memory into your laptop. As you can see, I've already got one stick, and that's how yours is going to be if you've only you haven't any more. So you just grab an extra stick. Doesn't matter. Doesn't have to be the same exact brand I have. Um, but basically, you just take and look and see where the, how the teeth are. And you want to match it up just like the just like the the memory bay has. You can see it right there. You see how the teeth are lined up. One side is longer than the other. You just stick it right in there, and then you want to kind of just push to make sure that it's in there completely. Then you just snap it down, and you're finished. All right. So yeah. It's a cheap, very cheap upgrade, and um, to get the most benefit, you'll want to make sure that you have, that you buy, you know, pretty fast memory. Um, 18, 1886 is really the best way to go, um, but just note that your BIOS will automatically clock your RAM down if it's if if you buy some that's too high of a frequency, but. I mean, for the most part, you will we'll definitely be the stick you have. So, yeah, um, this is my video. And rate, comment, you know, subscribe. Let me know if this helped you guys or if you want me to make another tutorial video. Um, but, yeah, so these APUs are awesome, but they are definitely dependent on, you know, the RAM that you choose carefully and have fun gaming, you know, once you install the extra memory. All right, talk to you guys later. Where's the LT? Hanging right up here. Hey! Have you ever asked yourself how this part of the world gets so fucked up all the time? I just work here, Dave. Gentlemen, welcome. As you know, we're dealing with the PLR insurgents.
Thanks for tuning in to this presentation of the NBA on 2K Sports. I'm Damon Bruce. Friday Hoops Fest coming up next. It'll be Blake Griffin in the Los Angeles Clippers facing off against Kobe Bryant and the L.A. Lakers. And that's all for now. Time to hand it over to Kevin Harlan and the rest of the 2K Sports crew. I'll be back with more at halftime. <laughs> Say the movie, dog. My name is Ho. Coming to you live on 2K Sports, this is the NBA. Hi everyone, Kevin Harlan alongside my broadcast partner Steve Kerr and Clark Kellogg. It's great to have you with us. Western Conference battles always fun. This time it's the Los Angeles Lakers intent on protecting home court. Here are the five for the Clippers. In the front court, it's Karan Butler, Blake Griffin, and DeAndre Jordan. It's Chris Paul and Chauncey Billups at the one and the two. And for the Lakers, Kobe, Mena, and Paul Gasol are the guys that make up the two, three, and four slots. Nash out there with Howard. The Clippers enjoyed a big turnaround season last year, Kevin, but one area that they still could use work on is getting wins against other teams in the Pacific Division. Tip-off goes to the Lakers. Nash against Paul. Nash kicks to Kobe. Howard setting the pick for Kobe. He used that pick to perfection. Like that point you made about the Clippers in the division, just seven and seven for them last year, Steve. They could probably do better this year. I, th I would think so. Although you know the Pacific is getting better uh, when you look at uh, Golden State and Sacramento up north, both faring very well in the draft. Phoenix 